Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to a new workout vlog. So today I'm hitting workout B, which is one of my two full body workouts for the week. So I'm starting things off with the incline bench press here and I'm working with 210 pounds for two sets of six to eight reps. So in my last workout, which I didn't film, I got two sets of six reps. So I dropped down in strength from the previous workout that you guys probably saw where I got two sets of seven reps. So I could have dropped down in strength, but honestly, I think it's because I've been working out at different gyms and there are always little differences in the actual weight of the plates, which can throw you off when you're lifting at your true capacity. So when it comes to making the most consistent progress and being able to actually judge your progress, I think it's important to keep your equipment the same. So use the same bar, same plates, same bench, because there are always little differences that can throw you off when you're lifting heavy and pushing yourself hard. But nonetheless, I made some good progress here from the last workout and pushed the sets hard. So we're all good. So in this workout, I ended up getting seven reps on the first set and six reps on the second set. So this bench was shit and my ass was sliding off because the seat didn't have a high enough incline. So I felt like I could have done more but it is what it is i threw a yoga mat on the bench for the second set so i could stick to the bench a little bit more but you know it was it was all right so now i'm getting to some romanian deadlifts and i'm going for two sets of eight to ten reps with 245 so i'm keeping things light for now and slowly working my way back to my previous bests so when it comes to building the hamstrings guys there's nothing like romanian deadlifts this exercise is just so good for developing the entire backside of your body the only downside is that they make my hamstrings so sore in the following days so i try not to grind reps and take the sets to failure because it's really easy to overdo it on these and any deadlift for that matter. And when you push yourself too hard on deadlifts and you take the sets to failure, it puts a huge dent in your recovery. And not only when it comes to soreness in the lower back and, and hamstrings, but your entire central nervous system just takes a huge beating. So when it comes to deadlifting, I'm big on conventional deadlifts and Romanian deadlifts. So I like to spend a good chunk of the year doing Romanian deadlifts and then spend some time on conventional deadlifts as well. And yes, conventional deadlifts are great for building muscle and strength. A lot of people nowadays seem to think that that the conventional deadlift is a terrible exercise for building muscle, which is complete bullshit. It's one of the best muscle building exercises just because of how much muscle it works in the body. The only downside with conventional deadlifts though is that they are very taxing and it's easy to overtrain on them. So you have to keep it to like one to two hard sets and avoid grinding reps, avoid training to failure. But when it comes to building overall muscle mass and just brute strength, there's nothing like conventional deadlifts. So now I'm getting into some incline dumbbell rows. And right here, I literally squashed the ever living shit out of my balls. So when when you're when you're doing these guys make sure you put the dumbbells on the ground and then pick them up as opposed to trying to hold them in your hands when you're trying to get into position so these are one of the best free weight rows you can do and i like them specifically because they take your lower back out of the movement and it's easier on your recovery especially when you're doing deadlifts in the same routine so i find these are really good not only for upper back development and lat development but also for your forearms and biceps so i think the neutral grip on rows works the biceps a ton so this is a great great exercise to incorporate in this routine again you know i love machine rows i love cable rows like hammer strength rows you really can't go wrong with any sort of row most rows are just fantastic exercises just the only thing you have to keep in mind is the sort of balance with the lower back fatigue when you're doing deadlifts in the same routine especially when you're doing conventional deadlifts i mean that's that's much harder to to sort of program and avoid you know stressing out the lower back too much that's when these back supported or chest supported rows come come in handy. So now I'm getting into some barbell curls. So this is 85 pounds for a couple sets of eight to 10 reps. So I decided to take some weight off of the bar here and focus on keeping my form a little bit more strict because I was swinging the bar a little bit too much previously. And an important tip for bicep curls and any exercise for that matter is to always make sure you get the full stretch at the bottom, man. So I see a lot of guys who never get the full stretch on a lot of exercises. They cut out the last couple of inches from the bottom of the exercise because they ego lift and they also just don't want to feel the pain of the stretch, but that's the most important part of any exercise, guys. The lengthened position at the bottom where you're getting a stretch on the muscle is where you stimulate the most muscle and strength gain. So you're leaving a lot of gains on the table by avoiding that stretch on the bottom. And I see guys doing this on bicep curls, bench presses, overhead presses, squats, Romanian deadlifts, and it's hurting your gains, man. And for a lot of guys, this means taking some weight off the bar and putting your ego to the side. A lot of guys just want to lift very heavy and they, they, they completely screw up the form of the exercise. They don't do the full range of motion. They stop a couple inch, uh, inches from the bottom and it's 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 hurting your gains, man. So put your ego to the side, lower the weight and actually do the full range of motion, get the stretch on the bottom. So on a side note, it fucking blows my mind how many guys think dumbbell bench pressing is better than barbell bench pressing. And this goes for, for dumbbell press, dumbbell overhead pressing as well compared to standing pressing. A lot of, a lot of people think dumbbells are su- superior for building muscle, but they don't even get the stretch with the dumbbell dumbbells, man. 
which like it's it's insane like the the entire point of using dumbbells for any pressing exercise is so that you can get a deeper range of motion and get the stretch it's the stretch reflex right that's the that's the whole reason why you use dumbbells for pressing exercises um so it, it blows my mind how many guys are like you know dumbbells are way better than barbells like bro the way you're doing dumbbell pressing you might as well just be using the barbell because you're doing you're going 90 degrees you're not even getting the stretch right so it makes no sense to me so this is just a couple sets of lateral raises to burn out pretty much two sets of like 20 to 25 reps with 30 pound dumbbells i just pretty much take them to failure i pretty much lose count so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this workout vlog and i will see you in the next one peace